The first printing of the tale of Peter Rabbit, 8,000 copies, was sold out before it reached the shops. Earlier than that, though, Beatrix had decided to publish another story, privately. Her second book, The Tailor of Gloucester, was based on a fairy story about a tailor who one night leaves behind an unfinished waistcoat. In the morning, he finds it completed. Beatrix, of course, made the mystery helpers mice. She was determined to get the details of her interior settings absolutely accurate. So she talked her way into a tailor's shop, taking some gloves needing repair in order to acquaint herself with the tools of the trade. The tailor worked and worked and talked to himself. He measured the silk and turned it round and round, trimmed it into shape with his shears. The table was littered with cherry-colored snippets, no breath at all, and he cut on the cross. It had no breath at all. Tippets for mice, ribbons for mobs, for mice, said the tailor of Gloucester. <laughs> 